What's going on guys? It's your boy Windex CJ. And this is the first time you see my channel or any of my videos. I make game related content trying to bring a positivity to you. And then today we're gonna be doing that through Halo 5 Road to Halo Infinite Episode 1. <laughs> For this series, we're pretty much just gonna play the Halo games, cover the Halo updates if anything develops infinite wise, and talk to you guys about what you want what you don't want as well and we're going to keep planning and keep growing it definitely at, at least once a week i'm trying to build like a trinity of games to cover right now so can't be all halo but don't want to starve the halo fans that's here as well so if you do enjoy the video please sure leave it a like but we're going to start it off with some quick play have some fun talk about some things and just vibe out so let's get into it now i haven't played halo 5 in a hot minute so if i'm i'm going to be rusty but if i do trash Don't hate me, all right? I'm gonna try my best, but I'm also trying to talk to y'all, so, yeah. All right, so let me get the first thing out the way. That motherfucking, uh, that Vidoc, that multiplayer Vidoc, man, it was, it was gorgeous. It was so jam-packed with information. They showed, like, a whole bunch of stuff, man. Man, like they showed some gunplay. They showed movement. It's definitely kind of like Halo 5 ish. Didn't see anything like thruster wise, though. But they still got like clamber. Pretty sure they still got sprint. I, I'm pretty sure I saw sprint. Um, didn't see a lot of thruster stuff, though. I did see a lot of things that like launched people. But I don't know if it's specifically thrusters or not. I think it's more like man cannony type stuff. So for all my thruster haters, I think you're getting your wish. If anything, if it is true, I'm a little sad to see it go because it, it was something that I personally enjoyed. Hate me if you want, but hey, everybody's got their likes and dislikes. The thing, the, one of the new things that they showed that I'm like the most hyped for is uh, personal AIs. And now what, from my understanding from seeing videos and seeing the trailer, personal AIs kind of act like mini announcers. So we're still gonna have like the, like the triple kill, capture the flag, dude. But the AI sort of play like a minute by minute role in their announcer, and you can customize them to be like more tailored to your personal fit. I don't know how deep that's gonna go. It might be like a color thing, it might be a language thing, I don't know, but we know you can customize them. They do show up in the battlefield with certain stuff so that's going to be super interesting along those lines we're going to see equipment back obviously we saw that in like the first e3 trailer but it's coming back for multiplayer as well so for all my halo 3 fans and things like that it's going to be super super interesting to see what they do with that bro we fucking killing them <laughs> we killing them right now <laughs> I can't, I cannot confirm this, but from a lot of stuff, it looks like it might be AR starts for the arena side of things. Definitely a prop, it's probably gonna be AR starts. That's what I'm seeing. That's what I saw from like little glimpses of things. Could be wrong, you know, just speculation at this point, but you never know. You never know. As far as announcers go, I am a little sad to see that they don't have any like plans for they don't have any plans for like announcer DLCs. Cause I mean I'm not gonna lie, bro. Sergeant Buck as an announcer, that was like clutch. Yabda as an announcer, clutch. So I'm I'm hoping they reconsider. I really hope they reconsider, because that's like missed opportunities if they do. But one can dream right now. We also saw since like the game's going free to play and stuff, they have like a focus on like uh, getting people used to and used to and adjusted to the game. Oh yeah, get the fuck out of my game, boy! Bow. Um. <laughs> so with that, they introduced like a like a training ground mode kind of, and I don't really, I can't really give like a comparison of something that we've seen before, but it's kind of like a like an interactive area, like an interactive space, you know, kind of on like uh 
Call of Duty World War 2, how you can like walk around that little base and do certain stuff. That's the kind of vibe they kind of gave off with that like academy thing. It's pretty much an area where like new players can go and learn stuff, train, get the mechanics of the game down, maps and stuff. Bot matches are a thing now. That's crazy. Bot matches in Halo, I'd have never thought. Never would have thought. But it's coming apparently. And you can like tune the difficulty of the bots. Man, that's gonna be sick. I can't wait. Oh, come on. Ah, hey, doggy, what's wrong? What? What you looking at? This is my dog. I don't know if you can see him, but that's my dog right there. Hey, buddy. <laughs> so if you see him, yeah, that's my little buddy. Um. But yeah, man, I'm really excited for Halo Infinite. They're also going to be doing like flights, so like little public play tests. I hope I get invited to one. I'm going to try to cover it if I can. Um, also said this in my Battlefield video. If you haven't seen that yet, be sure to go check it out. I'm doing a, similar, a series similar to that. But as far as like updates and things for Halo Infinite, I don't know if I'm going to like cover it minute by minute. So like if something comes out, I'm going to make a video about it that day because of like, you know, I got things like work and stuff like that. But I definitely would like to do something at least like weekly, at least like something like this. That's why I'm starting this series so I can talk about things if I don't like necessarily cover it in a video already. Like a news video, then I can talk about it here. Um, but these videos are more kind of like discussion based, kind of kickback, relaxy, little bit informative, but more so just like talking to you guys about stuff that I'm excited for, trying to get some news on what you guys are excited for, things like that. I'm kind of just slaying right now. I'm not even going to lie to you. So I haven't decided what I'm going to do with that just yet. But when I decide, I'll let you guys know. But, I mean, hey, we killed them. First game back on Halo 5. But hey, man, I don't think I did that bad. Let's check out the stats, though. 15 and 6. First game back, 43 accuracy. Eh. 10 hit shots, though. Not too bad. Hey, I'll take that, bro. I'll take that for my first game back on in a few months. Yeah, why not? So if you guys enjoyed the video, please be sure to leave a like on it. Let me know in the comments down below. One, are you excited for Halo Infinite? And two, what are you most excited for? Let me know in the comments down below. And if you want more Halo and gaming content like this, then be sure to hit that big red subscribe button down below. It's been your boy WineDXCJ. I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out.